So when you get out in the middle of the woods, you gotta go like this. Wow! <laughs> Papa Kelf, man. I haven't rode bikes with you in years. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Break some water, get an ice cream, and then do the other three miles in about 45 minutes, the whole thing. Six miles. Pretty good. You grow up, you get married, start a business. And then you go start riding your bike again. You get yourself a mountain bike from Walmart, and then you're pimping. Mine was $38 from Myers, clear and special. There you, you go. Get a brand new $130 bike for 38 bucks. It's 38 bucks. Lifetime. 38 bucks for that. Yeah, beast. 38 dollars. The Bell Era Comfort Series, North Northern Woods, North Woods. How am I gonna get down? Come on, it's not worth getting hurt or nothing. Put your head in farther. You tear your head. Yeah. property ripping out a whole bunch of stuff gutting a property uh, a real estate flip I actually love doing these types of jobs because you don't got to be careful you could just go ham what we call it go ham on it and just go crazy and cut stuff down and throw it in the dumpster or take it away and it's fun but on that note in this video I want to talk about being careful I want to talk about safety and just being aware and having mindfulness in the beginning of your own small business it's all about you know the grind go out get money and that sense of freedom that finally you're independent you're hunting for your own food and you can make in a day what you used to work several days in a job to get well the farther you go in your own business and you start getting you know you're paying taxes you got general liability insurance and you're doing things by the book then you start becoming aware of whoa I'm really hanging myself out there in uh th there's liability involved is what I'm seeing and I'm starting to see maybe I should get some chaps when I'm chainsawing maybe I should get a helmet and wear a helmet if I'm trimming something maybe I should wear safety glasses when I'm trimming or using the, the weed whip or the line trimmer maybe I should wear ear protection and, and I didn't put a lot of the stuff in my videos in the beginning because a lot of my videos are all about the grind. You know, go out, you can do it, motivational, get money. But I'm also starting to uh, see a sense of responsibility that I should be talking about the boring stuff of safety. Like when you get a job <laughs> in, a, in a big company, they sit you down in these training videos 
and they talk about all these boring videos about about safety but i'm starting to see now that it's a huge deal because if you're let's just say you let's just say you're edging a sidewalk we got to edge this sidewalk up because it's horrible make it look nice you're edging a sidewalk and you're not wearing safety glasses and a pebble shoots in your eye and now you're rushing to the clinic with blood dripping down your eye and it's gonna cost you $6,500 if you don't have health insurance to get that thing taken out of your eye. Now you got a patch on your eye, you walk around looking like a pirate for three months and now, like, that's not good. <laughs> um, let's say you're weed whipping something and you blow a rock through a neighbor's window or someone's car and you don't have insurance or maybe you don't have the money in the bank to just say, here's the 750 bucks, I'll fix it. Right? Now your heart's pounding and you're in a funny state. Let's say you want to do something stupid. You know, it's just a little tiny tree. I could trim it from the ground. And you don't know how to trim the thing. And now you got a branch falls over. You trim it the wrong way. And the butt of the branch hits you in the head. And now you got a knot on your head and your head's bleeding. And you got to rush to the clinic and get your, your dome stitched. To get your dome stitched up. And it costs you 450 bucks. But I just want to say... Once you get your own business uh, going and you're in it for a few years, you start to really start to see like this is no joke. This is no joke. The smallest thing, let's say a piece of equipment breaks. You just work the next two days for free. Real quick, I'm on this quote anyways and I have to document this anyways so I can do the quote. So, oh, it was 145 for that. Grab apple and that Bradford pear was 165. Okay, so that's 165, 265, 75, 85, 95, 305. Removing this was 200. That's 405, 505, 100 for the stump, 605. If they want all that taken out and side put there, it's an extra uh, one, two, three, four hundred bucks. Okay, yes. Okay, trimming all that up. That's um. 135 and over here that extra stump is 25 bucks that's all 100 to get the stump out here so a buck 25 that Bradford pair damn you're looking at 200 and 50 to thin out all the dead wood on the inside, climb it, cut some stuff down, do some little bit of, maybe a little bit of ropes, probably not, nothing easy. And that's it. All right. Later. tripping they're right in here where i always have like a friend that pops up right in the middle you think you have gray hair but you don't oh yeah you want to make a bet i just found guys it. do you see gray hair yeah they can't see it right it like on the pull it out it's in here where in this strand let's see if i can tripping get it. camera because I, the rest of my hair is dyed. It's just in my roots. Let me see. There's an, I don't even see it. It's in my root. Of amazing, my friend. Tell me how much you think it is worth. Send an email to the landscaping employee trap at gmail.com and we'll get you hooked up nice and fresh. We'll even put a gosh damn bow tie on it. Yeah. <laughs>